Good evening, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with 2018 Bowman's Best Baseball. Pick your team number 24. Kobe. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. Really appreciate it. Drew Sanford. Last Spot Mojo Pirates. So thanks to Drew. Thanks to everyone for getting in. There's a case right. This is from this, this or distributor put this sticker on there. I like it. I don't know if they have the actual rights to use that MLB logo, but series two poster back up there. All right, so there's all eight boxes right there, four in the back row, four in the front row. This is a great break too, four autographs per box. Featuring this year's top performing prospects and vets, like these guys. Hey, Leonard, what's going on? Eh, it's been a while. How are you? All right, final scores today. Not too many. A lot of games in progress. Final score, Oakland keeping their winning streak going. 7-2 to two over the Indians. I think they won like five or six in a row now. In a wild back-and-forth game, the Brewers ultimately beat out the Reds 11-9. to nine. Royals beat the... Cardinals 8-2. I think that's a double header. I think they got another game later tonight, right? And Rangers are up 1-2-1 uh, one, one over the Mariners. Mariners have been struggling the last week or so. And the Padres ended up sweeping the Diamondbacks, I think. Padres win 5-2. to two. Games in progress. Yankees leading the Orioles 7-5. Rockies leading the Pirates, 9-2. Bottom of the sixth. End of the seventh, Red Sox leading the Toronto Blue Jays, 3-2. Marlins leading the Tigers, 4-3. In the bottom of the seventh. Bottom of the seventh, a lot of games in the last third of their games. Nationals with a narrow 1-0 lead over the Mets. Rays leading my Dodgers, 5-1. Bottom of the seventh. And in the second game of the doubleheader... Cardinals leading this time 5-2. to two. And then Phillies and Cubs are tied in the top of the fourth. And Houston has a 3-2 lead over the White Sox in the bottom of the fifth. There's your baseball. There's your baseball here on a Wednesday, May 22nd, 2019. Good luck, everybody. Box number one. There's Austin Riley. He's had a nice start to his career. There's Ryan Weathers to 250. We'll have those top loaded a little bit later. And then we've got Nico Herner for the Cubbies. Mark Leros on the board. There you go, Gilo. He's a Royals guy. It's his I-70 series. Only time I can talk smack in baseball. There you go. Uh, Joe, why was Washington expensive in this? Bowman's best? Why are they expensive in this? Brandon McKay to 50. Who's on the checklist? Juan Soto, maybe? There's Jonathan India. Victor Robles. Trey Turner. Bryce Harper. How much were they? There's Jonathan India. Great prospect for the Reds. And that'll be for David Duffy. There's Joey Votto to 150. There's Austin Meadows, Pirates edition to 99. He's doing well with the Rays. But this will go to last spot mojo, Drew Sanford and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Nice rookie auto. 
And Leonard was saying he got a team and a random team in Legacy. Nice. Good luck. Hopefully we can do a couple more of those tonight. And Fernando Romero, rookie auto. Oh yeah, Carter uh, Carter Kaiboom or Keyboom is in there too. He just got called up this year as well. All right, next one. Rick Barker needs some uh, some Dodgers. Is Verdugo in this checklist? He might be. Yeah, I'll try to pull you some Dodgers. That's try to pull hits for everybody. That's the plan, always. Uh, Verdugo rookie auto isn't this, says Alfred. All right. Yeah, he's been playing well, too, in the absence of A.J. Pollock. How is Verdugo? Is he playing today? 0 oh, for 3 today, a couple strikeouts, but he's hitting over 300, hitting 311. And every once in a while, he'll surprise you with some power. I think that power is supposed to supposed to develop later on. the The overly optimistic, uh, the overly optimistic ceiling for Alex Verdugo is um, it's Christian Yelich. So a lot of just solid tools, good eye, good bat, good knowledge of the strike zone, doesn't swing at bad pitches, kind of thing. You know, good fielder. And remember, uh, Christian Yelich's power, you know, wasn't wasn't obvious. It wasn't obvious that Christian Yelich was going to be a power hitter, but that has naturally developed just because such a good swing. So, the overly optimistic. I know we're talking about an MVP, but the overly optimistic ceiling for Verdugo is Christian Yelich, is what people seem to see. And the Dodgers just melting down at the bottom of the seventh. The Rays have put up a crooked number on them. Seven runs? What the hell's going on here? What the hell's going on here? Dylan Floro. Caleb Ferguson. Come on. There's Riley Adams for the Blue Jays. And that'll be for Chris, Chris Garosi with that one. There's Jacob deGrom, gold. And there's Tristan Houses, Tristan Casas going to Mark B and the Red Sox. Dodgers bullpen is terrible. Seven runs in the bottom of the seventh. Dodgers have been winning games playing so well that it doesn't seem like their bullpen is not like a big, a big, you know, sore mark. It doesn't stick out just yet. But it's not good. Scott Kingery. Going to the Phillies, David Duffy with the Phillies. Let me balance that out a little bit. There we go. And nice. This is a great time to get this guy. Keston Hiuda. 16 out of 50 gold for the Brew Crew, Eric Bailey. Nice. How's he been? How's he been hitting? I know he started his first few games were really good. 
Let's look at the box score really quick. Did he play today? Yeah, he went one for five. A few strikeouts. Run scored and an RBI. Not bad. Not bad for the youngster. Absolutely raking in AAA. So we'll give him some time. Could be a could be a big player for the Brewers. Next box. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, that Brewers Reds game was crazy. Reds scored five in the top of the second. You know, then then the Brewers came back with three in the bottom of the third, two in the bottom of the fourth, and the Reds added two in the top of the fifth. And then the Brewers scored five in the bottom of the sixth. And the Reds scored in the top of the seventh, and there were no runs after that. And the Brewers won 11 and 9. Nick Senzel went 0 for 4 today. Oh, was that Keston's lone hit? Was a home run? Nice. Second of the season. There you go. Yeah, that's hashtag good for the hobby. Is Fall is sold out, Arson? I guess depending on the schedule. It'll, it'll fit in wherever it sells out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So at 17, 7.15 Pacific, it should fit into that slot unless something filled up before that. There's Brady Singer for the Royals, Brett Myers with KC. It did sell out. Okay, so unless some, I'll go through orders after this break, and unless something sold out before that, yeah, that flawless should slot into that 7.15 Pacific time slot. Nice Christian Pash. Early indications auto. 97 out of 100. That will be for Josh Reich and the Braves. It's another one of their many, many prospects coming up the ranks. And there's Daniel Lynch for the Royals, another Royal for Big Rig and his Royals. Colton says, I hear your complaint about the Dodgers' awful bullpen, but I raise you one awful Braves bullpen. Yeah, I'll, I'll see your Dodgers' bullpen and raise you Braves' bullpen. Everyone's saying they, they should just go out and get Kimbrel, right? I don't know if that'll help, though. Guys have to get to Kimbrell in the first place. There's, there's Harrison Bader, orange, for the Cardinals, to, uh, for Zach. And there's Colton Welker for the Rockies. Big prospect for them. That goes to Eric Legal. Oh, Glaber Torres with two home runs today. It's kind of crazy how, how great the Yankees have been playing. Um... With all those injuries, no Giancarlo Stanton, you know, no Giancarlo Stanton, no Aaron Judge. They've just been winning ball games left and right. Nobody's worse than the Royals bullpen. There is one team worse. It's the uh, Nationals, I believe, have the worst bullpen, ERA-wise, the worst bullpen in baseball.
according to fan graphs, pitching, team stats, relievers. So let's sort by ERA. The worst bullpen ERA-wise are the Nationals with a collective 661 ERA. Their bullpen has 10 losses. I'm responsible for 10 losses. Orioles are next at six, with a 612 bullpen ERA this season. Nine losses. Mariners with a 562 bullpen ERA. Eight losses. Tigers, 557. ERA. Marlins, 10 losses, 513 ERA. Rangers, 8 losses, 502 ERA. They also have 11 wins, though. I think Rangers are the only team with a bullpen ERA that bad at 502. Sixth worst in the league, but with a winning record, 11 and 8. Go figure. I guess Rangers, Rangers offense helping the bullpen out. And then it's the Royals. Then it's the Royals with a three and ten record in that bullpen, and a five and a four ninety six ERA. Braves are actually ten and eight, so like offense is helping them out in spite of the bullpen. With a four fifty nine ERA, they're the ninth worst bullpen by ERA in baseball. Diamondbacks round out, round out the top ten. Gilo, don't be so down about your Royals bullpen. He's just like, they give up runs with no suspense. Just home runs after home runs. The Royals are 12th in home runs per nine. Their bullpen, 12th in home runs per nine, 1.31. The worst team, the Orioles, 1.87 home runs per nine. Then the Tigers, 1.71. Then Mariners, Nationals, Marlins, Rangers, Cardinals, Diamondbacks, Braves, Padres, Brewers. See, don't be so down about your, your Royals bullpen, Gilo. Now we got some some atomics here too, which are cool, and a redemption. Any guesses on the redemption? I forget who the redemptions were. And there's Paul DeYoung for the Cardinals. Zach Hargrove with that. Big Rig is also a Royals guy, and he says I approve Gilo's message. There's purple Luis Severino to 250. Yankees. And there's Ryan Rollison for the Rocks. Steve Olson, we break until 11 o'clock LA time, so I hope we're going to break some, some other stuff tonight. There's the schedule in the chat. We better. There's Justice Sheffield to 150. We'll save one of those rookie Otanis too. And nice Alec Thomas for the Diamondbacks. 47 out of 50, best performers autograph. It's for Arthur. For you, Eric Bailey? Sure. Traditionally, no. <laughs> I think you got something though. Oh, yeah, you got something really nice. Should I spoil it for you, Eric? There is always a recap. The video that I record. <laughs> Congrats. Someone is due to receive a 2018, a best of 2018 autograph of J-E-R. That's Jaron Kendall for my Dodgers. That's right. What's, he's in the minors. What's he doing? Not signing cards. Rick Barker with my Dodgers. All right. We are halfway through 
this full case break. So after this, probably about another 15, 20 minutes or so, we'll do the Game of Thrones box. Oh, and that 7.15 Pacific time slot, I believe that's when Flawless is going to happen. Unless something filled filled up before then, but I'll go through orders after this break. I'll keep adding to the schedule. And keep going from there. And after flawless, I'm not sure what we can do after that. We've got new releases in. Uh, got new releases in. Game of Thrones, Rittenhouse Game of Thrones. And we also have uh, Legacy Football there. Uh, yes, that video is already uploaded that ninja. All right, there's Chris Sale coming into focus. There's Nick Williams to 99. There's Kevin Kramer going to the Pirates. Last spot mojo for Drew Sanford. And nice Blake Snell for the Rays. Michael Kopech in the back. David Duffy with Tampa Bay. Oh, the Dodgers Twins game just got postponed. Or, the, sorry, the Angels-Twins game? All right, I guess that's a push for that game for me. Might have saved me from a L anyway. All right, then we've got for the Cubbies, we got Jose uh, Albertos. It's Mark Leros with the Cubs. A lot of rainouts this season, I feel like. Is that more than usual or or does it just seem does it just seem that way? And there's Jordan Hicks for the Cardinals. It's your last autograph of the box, Zach Hargrove with the Redbirds. White Sox turn a cool triple play. Ground to third, steps on the bag to second to first, right around the horn. I think Josh Bell has been smashing the ball too. He hit one into the river. Next one, good luck. I want to watch Josh Bell's. Oh no, it already the highlights reset again. Vlad Jr. hit a 424 foot home run. I'm watching it right now on MLB.com. 
and outside, low and outside, and he just golfs it out of here, straight away center. Oh, wow. It hit the... I was like, it didn't look like it went that far, but it, it hit like... The scoreboard? No, it hit like the the second deck. The railing on the second deck, just below that. It bounced right off of that, jeez. Josh Bell's home run. Oh my god. Josh Bell's home run. Over the, the right field second deck. Into the water. There it is. There's a shot of it in the water. Yeah, that's right. Vlad Sr. Eric Bailey saying would hit those low pitches and crush it. Like father, like son. All right, there's Grayson Rodriguez, Orioles, David Hewton with that. There's Jeter Downs. He's got to work on his autograph a little bit. Uh, that goes to the Reds, David Duffy. I think he's on the Dodgers now. There's Justice Sheffield, Yankees edition to 250. Be another Otani right here, Brendan McKay, and a redemption. And there's Jordan Adams for the Angels. Mark Laros with the Angels. There you go, Mark. And behind Brendan McKay, congrats. Someone is due to receive a best of 2018 autograph of A. And oh, Anthony Siegler. It's a catching prospect for the Yankees. That'll go to Zach Hargrove. Maybe when they move Gary Sanchez to like first. And when he gets called up. All right, two boxes to go. Uh, Cubs have the bases loaded in the bottom of the fifth with two outs. I have financial interest in the Cubs. I'd like to see them break this game wide open here. A mound visit. Are, are we still keeping track of mound visits these days? What still happens? I feel like no one, there was such a big deal about, oh, we only get seven mound visits. And no one has, uh, I guess, incurred any punishment from that. Or it hasn't become like an issue yet. All right, second to last box, good luck. Albert Almora Jr. of Contreras on first, Rizzo on second, Chris Bryan on third. Swings at the first pitch. Back, 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 back. Grand slam. Hashtag, hashtag Papa Slam. Go get some pizzas tomorrow, folks. Four hundred and nineteen feet. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Albert Almora Jr. with the Grand Slam. Ethan Hankins for the Tribe will go to Ryan L. <laughs> yeah, you know, as as far as as far as fast food like chain pizza restaurants, I would say Papa John's would be up there for me. That's usually my go-to. There's George Springer to 250 for the Astros, and Josh Bro for the Yankees. You could drink a gallon of that garlic salt and feel good about it. Maybe at the moment you'll feel good about it. Uh, that goes to Zach and the Yankees. So yeah, as far as pizza chains go. Then after that, I think it would be probably Domino's. And I actually, I, I almost never order Pizza Hut. Wow, nice Walker Bueller. 81 out of 99. There you go, Atomic with my Dodgers, Rick Barker. There you go, nice rookie auto for the future Dodgers ace. Future Dodgers number one. MH, what's going on? He's saying pizza in St. Louis is good? Yeah, I can't speak for lo regional pizza places, pizza joints, local pizza joints. Logan Gilbert going to the Mariners, Chris Garosi. Unless you're saying the Papa John's in St. Louis is especially good. All right, last box coming up. All right, final four autographs. Cross those fingers. Good luck. Let's see. Are any of these other teams helping me with my with my terrible baseball picks today? I thought I was getting back on a good up cycle, but it's not. It went back on a down cycle. This May has been terrible for me. Uh, Pirates are not helping me out. They're down 93. I have financial interest in the Pirates. Blue Jays could still do it. They're going into the bottom of the ninth, only down a run. They're at home. Home dogs. I like this. Cubs are just went ahead. The Minnesota Angels game apparently was postponed. Postponed? I think postponed. Yep, officially postponed. And I'm on the Giants tonight. And that game just started. Let's keep an eye on MLB game day. Blue Jays. We got Freddie Galvis. Oh, that's the bottom of the order. Freddie Galvis, Drury. Uh, I think maybe a pinch hitting spot, maybe McKinney, and a catcher spot. Six, seven, eight. And if anybody gets on nine, I don't feel very good about that. But if uh, maybe if a person or two could get on, it could get to Guerrero Jr., who's batting second tonight. Set him up for his first walk-off of his career, of his young career. But Galvis strikes out swing. Already one out. Come on, Freddie Galvis. Got to get Guerrero Jr. that walk-off. All right, Brandon Drury, it's up to you. And his 212 batting average. He can get on base. Todd says, love some Emos. I don't, I'm not sure what Emos is. And love that garlic sauce at Papa John's. That's classic. Remember when they started charging for it? They used to just, they just used to pop one in there for free. Some place, some chain still, some franchises still do. <laughs> Todd's like, no, screw it. Just love pizza in general. Pizza's pretty great. It's pretty excellent.
almost there, folks. Last box, last four autographs. Cross those fingers and good luck. Here we go. There's Mets edition of Jared Kalanick, Brandon McKay, Atomic. We've got Hunter Green. Nice. I think went down with Tommy John, right, Reds fans? He's a big prospect for, for the Reds. David Duffy with the Reds. Ooh, nice. Brandon Drury doubles. That's good. A one-out double. Is this really going to set up a Vlad Guerrero Jr. walk-off for the Blue Jays? That would be hashtag good for the hobby. I always want results that are good for the hobby. There's Matt Libertore, or Libertor. Libertor? Isn't that like a, a cholesterol prescription drug? That goes to the Rays. That'll be for David Duffy and the Rays. David Duffy, back to back. There's J.D. Martinez to 99, green. There's Alex Verdugo to 150. Another redemption. Any guesses on this redemption? Bragging rights, last redemption. There's Connor Scott for the Marlins. Marlins are on the board. There's Vlad Guerrero Jr. right there. Still, still a few batters away. Uh, Billy McKinney out, records an out. But good thing he's not a double play. But Brandon Drury moves to third base. All right, behind Victor Robles, we've got Otani, Jose. Uh, no, Urias not in the set. Uh, Urias, Julio Urias, maybe. Ooh, green parallel. A Anthony Siegler again. Anthony Siegler for the Yankees. That'll go to Zach. And that's the way it ends, ladies and gentlemen, with Anthony Ziegler. Thanks very much. Bowman's best base. I think I saw one more case back there, so keep your eye out for more on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.